Welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Last time we left off, uh, well, we just got back from the party in uh, the Empress's Winter Palace, and this time we are doing specializations for the Inquisitor. I'm going to seek out a combat trainer at the War Tape. So, let's get on with it. Uh, you'll be pleased to know that I've emptied my inventory, apart from a few things that I think that Varric might be able to use. But um, if Cassandra does Start end up leaving, what's the state of the Inquisition? We're well loved in Orlai. Say the words, and Empress Selene will send her support. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orlai's support, our numbers match his. Corypheus's followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. Let's hope for deserters. Perhaps they'll rethink following the Darkspawn Magister from the dawn of time. Where is Corypheus now? After you dealt with the Duchess, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds. He's moving south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. We'll keep them there. I think it's the best idea. They've terrorized Thedas long enough. We end them now. If Corypheus is hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we'll go. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. Ooh. She, oh, she's got her armor back. I can assist. Please continue. You have my attention, Lady Morrigan. What Corypheus seeks in those forgotten woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? His best, if I show you. Well, she's got her armor back from the first and second one. This is an Illuvian, an elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. An elven artifact? This belonged to my people. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds. Untouched. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I fail. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? A more appropriate question would be, where does it lead? Okay then. This is not what I wanted to do, but sure. If this place once had a name, it has long been lost. I call it the crossroads, a place where all Illuvians join, wherever they might be. This could be useful. A useful trick. For one who knows the way, certainly. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they travel between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark. Broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but only a few. Okay. How did you find this? How did you find out about this place? 
My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once, they led me here. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. The ancients were nothing if not resourceful. What does that mean? If they don't lead back to our world, then... Places... between, like... this one. I can describe it no better. For a time... I was safe from those who hunted me. But only for a time. One cannot remain... in between... forever. Opened from this side? What do you mean, a few can be opened from this side? Some of the Illuvians have been left unlocked, like doors accidentally left ajar. All others are closed. They can be opened only from beyond. Opened how? With a key. Okay, you have a key? I suppose you have such a key. The key can be many things. Each Illuvian is different. I have knowledge as well as power. Often that is enough. Corpheus wants this. Corpheus wants to Corpheus. come here. This is not the fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barriers and enter the fade in the flesh, like Corpheus wanted to do with the anchor. He learned of the Alluvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon. Okay, I'm not sure if that completes the game, though. I hope not, because we haven't even done that much yet. I know we're nearly on episode 50, or we might be on episode 50 now. The other two games, because I feel like I'm missing out. Right, let's go and do this other mission now, shall we? If we can find our way back to where we need to be, I believe it's this way. Um, somewhere. Uh huh. Here's the door. <coughs> right. Let's go back to the war table. In we go. And then after we've done this, I think we're going to go into. Um, we're just going to talk to some people around here that need talking to. Aha! We got another point. Inquisition. What's this? Better techniques in glasswork make more des durable flasks, allowing more potions to be carried safely at one time. Adds one more potion slot for all party members. Any news on rifts beyond reach of the Inquisition? Yes. And it is not good. Uh, right, where's the one we're looking for? Uh, nope. Mm, a present for Bianca, ready. Ah, okay, we go. Uh, I should have more faith in my agents. Of course they track down Provident, who has sought shelter from the Mage Templar. Uh, conflict with a wealthy Navarian patrol. We provide a brief description of pr we provided a brief description of Bianca and provided Provident adapted the design for a leaf spring stabilizer to suit one of her stocks. We were also able to secure her, his original design for our own use in siege engines. Nice. Have you heard anything? Not yet. I'll let you know as soon as I do. Where is this? I don't even know what this mission's called that we're trying to do. Um. Nope. Is it? I don't think it's even on this side. One sec. Okay now. Right. Where's the mission we need doing? 
Is it infrared? Blue? No, I got a report. Right, gold and Inquisitor's throne accessory. Nice. Our efforts have proven successful. Inquisitor have taken a proportion for our, uh, taken a portion for our coffers, but the remainder may be used as you require. And you got a report. Actually, dagger grip. Uh, Ambassador Montilivet, please convey my thanks to the Inquisitor. The Inquisition soldiers were a great help in clearing the area for the memorial's construction, and the sight of their uniforms raised spirits immeasurably. The monument will stand forever as a testament to the strength and fortitude of the faith. Okay, buddy. Our shipment of resources from the hinterland has arrived. Um. Aha! There it is. I can ensure inspect instruction for the legion who wants to join, but we can in expect the Inquisitor to remain a leader while training with a subordinate. He is a figure of inspiration and should rightly be one of aspiration. Promoting a specialist from within the ranks seems lacking. With due respect to our people, the needs of the Herald are so specific, I recommend looking outside for the best combat specialist to be found, regardless of their affiliation. Okay, well I'm guessing that we can only send Josephine. The circles may have dispersed, but we still have our contacts. There are more powerful mages not tied to the rebellion who can offer training. Okay. At your service. The best of the best have been summoned. Training with these specialists will ensure the Inquisitor's ability remaining re abilities remain at their height. Okay. Now what? Oh, here we go. Okay, let's go and talk to these specialists. Right, how does one get down there? Short of just jumping. Oh, that works. Look for a coal. Hello, coal. But this violates everything we know about the faith. So it does. Inquisitor, I wondered if Cole was perhaps a mage, given his unusual abilities. He can cause people to forget him, or even fail entirely to notice him. These are not the abilities of a mage. It seems that Cole is a spirit. A demon, more likely. If you prefer, although the truth is somewhat more complex. He helped us. Cole helped me escape the Envy Demon. I already agreed to let him stay. It is one thing to know the boy is peculiar, it's another to know he is a demon. In fact, his nature is not so easily defined. Speak plainly, Solas. What are we dealing with? Demons normally enter this world by possessing something. In their true form, they look bizarre, monstrous. But Cole looks like a young man. Could it be possession? No. He has possessed nothing and no one. And yet he appears human in all respects. Cole is unique, Inquisitor. More than that, he wishes to help. I suggest you allow him to do so. Explain more of possession. In my studies, demons either possess something from this world, or were summoned and bound. They almost never look like something you'd mistake for a person. Normally you'd be correct. But Cole has willfully manifested in human form without possessing anyone. What of demons at the breach? The demons who came through the breach, or through the rifts, weren't possessing anything. These demons were drawn through against their will, driven mad by this world. But Cole predates the breach. From what we can tell, he has lived here for months, perhaps years. He looks like a young man. For all intents and purposes, he is a young man. It is remarkable. 
I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him. I should hear what Cole has to say for himself. Where is he now? He was right. The siege at Adamant. So much fear. Arrow through the armor. Breathing through cobwebs. Throat closing. Coughing is a lance through my side. Hot, white thing. Everything burns. I can't. I can't. I'm going to... I'm dying. I I'm... Dead. You're all right. You're feeling their pain. It's louder this close, with so many of them. Would you like to go somewhere more comfortable? Yes, but here is where I can help. Every breath slower, like lying in a warm bath, sliding away. I like his hair. My daughter's hair when I kiss her goodnight. Gone. Cracked brown pain. Dry. Scraping. Thirsty. Here. Thank you. It's all right. She won't remember me. You're a friendly spirit. You're using your powers as a spirit to help people. Yes. I used to think I was a ghost. I didn't know. I made mistakes, but I made friends too. Then a Templar proved I wasn't real. I lost my friends. I lost everything. I learned how to be more like what I am. It made me different, but stronger. I can feel more. I can help. Stay with us. If you're willing, the Inquisition could use your help. Yes, helping. I help the hurt. The helpless. There's someone. Hurts. It hurts. Hurts. Someone make it stop hurting. Make her, please. The healers have done all they can. It will take him hours to die. Every moment will be agony. He wants mercy. Help. End his pain. All right. Help him. It's all right. I want to stay. Okay, well, we just completed that mission. Right, um. Let me talk to you. Hold and declare, Inquisitor. What do you mean? I ask your intent. I was summoned to oversee training, and I would know my charge. I am your commander in this matter, Commander Helene. Welcome, Commander. Thank you for coming, Commander Helene. Commander will suffice, recruit. I teach the skills of the Night Enchanter. It is a rank. It is a life. Understanding its hierarchy is the first step. You already know this. You were not made Inquisitor and then taught to lead. I will teach you how to rise to your place. How to join your warriors, spectral blade in hand. How to command the ranks while standing beside them. Are you ready? An elf has a, has a human rank? Commander is a title I associate with human forces. Knight Enchanter has roots in elven tradition, but it has utility in every tradition. There are no borders for the mage who wields a spectral blade. There is respect, and there is fear. Show me what's involved. I'm ready to learn what you know. Then we will begin the simple steps, recruit. And we shall see what heights you reach. You have a task, a simple construction. Go, learn, and return. 
Soon you will lead from the front. Soon you will command. What about these other two? Hello? Yes, hello. I am your trainer. Yes. I am your trainer. You said that. Good, because it has been a long journey. The cause is just, and if we don't start soon, you won't have time to learn. <clears throat> I am your trainer. Uh, okay then. Thank you for coming to train me. What? Oh yes, of course. You're welcome. Thank you. I was charged with studying the breach and the subsequent rifts to discover how they affected traditional disciplines. I was enthralled. So were the 19 others, I presume. They're dead. They learnt the power, but couldn't wield it. Rift Mage Inquisitor, the forces are incredible. And with training, you will be incredible. I know how not to die, and I can teach it. It's incredible. Rifts are a recent phenomenon. The rifts were triggered by the breach. There's already a school of magic. A school? No. Yes. Sort of. The holes in the veil flooded us with magic, and that can be used. It changed some rules, modified them, enough that the careless inverted themselves, old forces and new forms. Others will try, their results will vary, but you will have the best instruction. Because your trainer has already taken the risk. I don't the quite understand what's going on. Who told you to study rifts? Who charged you with studying magic from the rifts? The mages collected. I did not just say that. Yes, I did say it, and we're proud to help. We are nimble, we could move quickly and commit people to this rift magic. Many people. Their lives made it stable and safe. We're very proud. Show me how to begin. Very well. Show me how this should go. It goes places you have been and some you have not. That is necessary. So the price is not paid twice. Follow the instruction and you will know the way. You'll understand the power. Then I'll show you more. After all, I am your trainer. Okay then. And what about this fella? Inquisitor, I heard a tapping. My skills are required. And you are? Speaker Vius Anaxas. I have come from Navarra as a voice for the dead. Welcome them, and they will serve your cause. I welcome your assistance. The Inquisition is open to any allies. Warmth I do not often find. Thank you. I am of the Mortalitasi. We tend to those who have passed and revere their lives by honoring them in death. And when the living are threatened, we give the bodies of the dead physical purpose once more. Necromancy, Inquisitor. The dead will serve for you. You raised the dead? You're saying you can bring the dead back to life? Of course not. The souls of our departed cross the fade to be with the Maker. The body is left empty. Then what is it that you do? In the Grand Necropolis, we would usher in a displaced spirit of the fade, eliminating imbalance. But this is war. Every battlefield has one thing in abundance. Death. I turn the bodies of enemies into weapons against them. We do not manipulate the living. We make use of the dead. That sounds like blood magic. You're a mage who manipulates life. How is this not blood magic? Blood magic consumes life. It tears at the living to manipulate and destroy. It is a cancer among our kind. We honor life by venerating the dead. We give their mortal form purpose. In combat, perhaps only for a few moments, but that is still more than they have. More than opposing youth normally allows. Why is this a good discipline? Tell me why this would best suit me. It is not for everyone, yet we all reach beyond life. You have already killed many out of necessity. To stop at death is wasteful. Death can make allies of enemies. Death can rend the battlefield. Death can terrify. People will fear me. Don't you want to terrify? Fear means there are fewer to fight next time. Fear means lives are safe, if that is your concern. Mortal... I don't even know you. Mortalas... Mortalitasi? What is a Mortalitasi? 
Okay then. Um, you can only truly specialize in one store. Studying others could still be considered benefit. Okay. Uh, next time we will start with rift magic, I think. No, let's start with the necromancer. Um, so, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you like. I don't know if you don't, as per usual, and I'll see you all in the next episode. <laughs>